Hey everyone, welcome to Q&A with Coach MJ number 15. So I have to start out this video by saying there's a lot of you watching, but a lot of you are not sharing. So I'm going to call out everybody right now and ask you to please tag someone that you think might find this information valuable. That's all I ask. And for those of you who are experienced triathletes and watching this and don't really have a lot of questions, please ask questions that you did have maybe when you were a beginner. I think those would be helpful for those just getting into the sport. So thank you very much for watching. Let's get right into the questions now. Thanks. So I, I've, there's a lot of people asking about motivation. So Dave and Lamont um, asked the best way to stay motivated. And you, you guys, again, that's different for everybody. Uh, but a, a lot of things, especially this time of year, is to do something different. And someone asked about keeping their eye on the prize because, you know, Ironman's like a whole year out. Um, but the but one of the ways that I've always found and if, have coached my athletes to do is to map out that plan and follow it. Map it out. And along the way, have some target races, A, B races, races just for fun, and do some things that are different. As the as your A race or your, your Ironman gets closer, yeah, you have to really, really focus on what you need to be doing, but for the months of November, December, January, February, you could be doing some different stuff, stair climbs, and like I mentioned earlier, uh, skiing or swim meets are a big thing. Uh, a lot of different st stuff that you can do just to kind of keep it interesting and keep it fresh. So. Whatever it is that you need to do, mountain biking, that's another big one. Um, whatever it is that you need to do, but you know, all with the big picture in mind. So keep that plan always kind of in the back of your mind. So thank you guys for asking. And Cassandra asks, how many hours does someone who is fit but not at the endurance level need to train each week to finish an Ironman in the average time for their age group? And Cassandra, I, you know, that's, that's going to be different for everybody. But uh, it, a lot depends on you know, what kind of swimmer that you are. Because are you an average swimmer? Are you a better swimmer? Because that that takes some time, but it doesn't. It's not a whole bunch load of hours. You know, maybe fifteen to twenty you can get away with. I mean, some some are going to be more, um, and that's towards the peak of of the training. That's not that's not in the in the base training phase. It's it's very minimal. Maybe six to eight hours. You know, up through to, you know through a few months before the race. Um, so it, that really depends on your ability because some people, and I already know you've done Ironman, so this is kind of like, it's like cheating because I know you a little bit. Um, but if you've done it before, it comes back faster. If you're a first timer, you may need to put in a little bit more, but that is a great question and we'd love to have you come back to, to Ironman. So uh, last question is, Jennifer, do you have to wear a tri suit? I am on a tight budget and tri clothes are expensive. And the answer is, Jennifer, no, you do not. And lots of people don't do it for their first triathlon. Now, once you get competitive and you're trying to save time, you don't have time to change and all that stuff. And it does make it easier. You know, I would recommend getting, getting a, a tri uniform or a kit is what we call it, um, but you don't need to. And I'll tell you, even in my first, because when I did my first one, I didn't think, I was like, I'm just doing this to say I did it. I'm never going to do another one. Uh, just a bucket list kind of thing. And um, I wore a regular swimsuit with a sports bra underneath. And then in the bike, I just pulled on a pair of running shorts and a shirt. And then I used the same outfit for the run. And uh, it was fine. It was, it was only a sprint triathlon and, and it was comfortable and all that. Uh, I will tell you that there is no nudity so, and there's no tents or anything for you to change in unless you want to go into a porta potty, which is kind of ill. But um, you can't, you can't take and you, they can't take like shorts off or anything. So if you're going to do it, you got to make sure that you're going to layer up. There's really nowhere for you to change. Uh, but that's a great question. And don't let the money kind of scare you away. It's a great uh, sport and uh, conserve where you can. And we're going to help you. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Thanks.